Hello everyone, I'm Eight Shades of Jane. Welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. I kind of forgot that we're supposed to go to class for Natty's mom? Like divination class or something like that. So we're gonna do that first and then if we have time we'll do the other mission with Moon. But I think oh, Professor Onai will also give us a new spell. So let's do that one first. And plus we haven't taken a divination class yet. I kind of want to unlock all the classes. And to be honest, that moon fella just sounds creepy. Why is there like a Rebellion. chest or something? Oh, it's right above. Okay, never mind. A lot of chests that I'm missing. Oh, is this Fig? Let me, let me see if Fig is in his room. If he could teach me that lock spell. Let's see if he's in here. If he's not, then fine. Fig! Can I talk to him at all? No? Fig! Nope. That sucks. When are they gonna teach me the... How to unlock those doors? That's so annoying. I want to uh, save all those animals from the poachers. Downstairs. I feel like we haven't been in Hogwarts in a while. We've been outside doing trials and all this other stuff. We haven't been on this side yet. Wait, there's supposed to be a... Where is it? Is it down here? Where is it? Oh, huh, maybe it's higher up. If I can fast travel here next time, that would be great. Oh, I see something right there. Hold on. Where is it? Can I get it from here, you think? Where'd it go? There's a plate page flying around. Go. Rebellion. Yes. All right, perfect. By Merlin, Rebellion. I will no sooner tolerate indolence than insolence. Neither makes for a knight worthy of esteem. That armor looks a little too big for you. Portrait of Sir Cardigan. Sir Cardigan was allegedly friends with Merlin himself, and as such became a sworn knight of the Round Table. I never heard of you in Arthur's story. Although he is only really known to the wizarding world, okay, that's what I thought. He is famous for the defeat of the Weavern of the Y, and now spends his days challenging students to duels. Do not dally, young friends. Fortune waits not for the slothful. A new area? Revelia. Oh, 
Hmm. There's like nothing here though. Okay, now we can go back on track. I'd better there keep an is. eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's cobblestones. Is there one around here? Is that what you're trying to tell me? To be here, maybe? Revelio. I see something round over there. Ha. That's one of Zenobia's gobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. Tell me about it. At this point, why can't she just buy new ones? Why does it have to be those exact gobstones? I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Oh, kitty. Grunting. It's just a ladder. I didn't see ahead of time how bored I'd be in divination class. Bored? What? What kind of class is this? Oh, Wig and Weld. They're sure generous with that. Oh, this. Like Torah card. So that's what she teaches? understood how to read tea leaves. There is such a thing. Nice. So knowledgeable. Is there anyone I can talk to before I talk to the professor? What is I hope those assignments were challenging enough for you. Modiwa Onai. Under Professor Black's direction, it is my honor as deputy headmistress to offer you the position of divination professor at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. We are thrilled at the prospect of having you join our distinguished faculty. Please inform us of your intentions as soon as possible. Well, obviously she accepted. I've completed all of my tasks, Professor Onai. Very well done. Although I must admit, I did have something of a premonition that you would follow through. Now, as you have no doubt sharpened your perception by completing my assignment, I am curious, based upon the knowledge that one's present and even one's past may reveal traces of what is to come, what do you see in your own future? Triumph, danger, power, I'm not sure. Hmm. Well, power, yes, that's obvious because I have, I can see the ancient magic. Danger, I mean, yeah, that comes with power. Let's do triumph. There will be hardship, I'm sure of it, but I see triumph in the end. A measured perception. Very wise. Thank you, Nothing thank you. worthwhile is ever easy, and that is why such futures are worth striving for. But this talk of tomorrow should not divert us from your present success. I shall inform our good deputy headmistress of your exemplary performance. And if that performance is any omen of what your future may hold, then I, for one, see great things. Channel your magic towards your targets.
what does this do again? Descent obviously is down. You have it. Now, why not practice the new spell on the training dummy? Sure. What are you guys? Oh. Oh. I think you have it. <laughs> we think I have it. Suppose I do this Ready one. Descender. At some point, you must stop preparing and put your newly honed skills to the test outside of the classroom. I'm gonna do it one more time. You gonna say anything? No. Okay. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Mm, we already did that, Rebellion. right? Oh wow, it was another one. Wait, there's someone Rebellion. red. Was that the dummy? Oh, that's the potion. That's the only one? Oh, body came back. Palmistry model. The standing model of a hand is demarcated to help students in practice of palmistry. Depending upon the angle at which this model is read, it either has a considerable lifeline or likely to die in a fortnight. I don't really believe in that though. I once had my palm read. Uh, just for fun. Revelia. And they said like, oh, like this line is your lifeline, and this line is how many kids you'll have. Well, guess what? Like, still don't know about the lifeline that has yet to be revealed. But kids? Nah. You'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Well, I already have that, so okay, we're clear. I think we have like three gobstones, maybe four. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I've mostly uh -huh. be included. Uh was it one of those keys? So let's go back to that one girl in the courtyard and show her what we found. Revelia. I heard something. Guess not. Oh wow! I didn't notice that. That's so cool. Wow. Oh god. Better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. No, I'm Revelia. pretty sure we got this one already. Yeah. I wish that the she wouldn't say that. After Were you able to it. follow one of the Dedalian keys? I did. Hello, Nelly. I managed to get a Dedalian key into its lock. Brilliant. What did you find in the cabinet? A curious token of some sort. Looks like some one. sort of house token. I bet it unlocks house chests. I call them house chests. I've seen the one in Gryffindor and heard they're also in the other common rooms as well. Keep an eye out. Hmm, should I head I back do hope to... you continue on. For so much effort, the prize must be something grand. I should see this through and find the Slytherin house chest. All right, let's just fast travel. So how do I know where the house chest is? I haven't been down here since it began the game. Anyone here? Rebellia. Anyone 
I could talk to. I even... What is this? That's, that was a little disturbing. None of my friends are here? Windy stairs because Oh, is this, this it? This must be my house chest. Seems I'll need to find more house tokens if I'm to open this. Quite a few by the look of it. Oh my goodness. Alright, well, um, Rebellion. Is that the tapestry? Did we go up here before? Is this one of those goggles? Did I go here before? Yeah, I did. So Where's this moon fella? Okay, where's this caretaker? Oh, he's out here? To run twenty five out of twenty five. What happens if you keep going up? Is there anything up there? actual door though you can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder I knew it. the Hogwarts architect shown here surrounded by the four house mascots designed and oversaw the construction of Hogwarts castle alongside founder Rowena Ravenclaw who is credited with creating its ever-changing floor plan ornate hourglass. Hourglasses containing rubies, diamonds, sapphires, and emeralds are enchanted to keep count of house points for Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, and Slytherin. Oh, is that what this is? Oh, uh, how are we looking? We're looking kind of equal. Aha! Wow. But I see a side mission here. Let, let's. Oh, it's me, Gareth. You have Wait. a moment. Revelio. I saw a key. Where did it go? Anyways. Hey, Weasley. Were you calling me, Gareth? I was hoping you might want to redeem yourself for not having brought me that Fruper Feather and Potions. No. You see, I have an idea for a fizzing, Wisby-inspired oh, beverage, no. but I'm missing a key ingredient. Shouldn't you be studying? Where do you find the time for this and your homework? 
I've plenty of time for both. Been managing for years. Yeah, because you're Weasley's so, nephew. I suspect the key ingredient in fizzing Wisbees is dried billywig stings. I heard there's a store of them in Honeyduke's cellar. I'd get them myself, but my Aunt Matilda has her eye on me. Thinks I need to focus on potions class for a while, not for my own bruise. I was hoping you could follow a secret passage to Honeyduke's cellar and grab a few dried billywig stings for me. You mean steal? I really don't want to help him. Hmm, I don't know, Gareth. Secret passage to a cellar? I don't want to lose points Sounds like it's off limits. Not at all. It's a perfectly legitimate secret passage. I'd use it if I could. The passage mm -hmm. is hidden behind the statue of a one-eyed witch in the third floor corridor. Just tap it with your wand and say, Descendium. Can't someone buy them for you? Couldn't you have someone buy the dried billywig stings? They're not for sale, and you never know when the cellar's going to be locked. So, the reliable way in and out is through the secret entrance. It's stealing, bro. Are you asking me to steal from a shop? Goodness! It's not as if I'm asking you to rob Gringotts. Honeydukes is more than enough, and I only need a few. It's a sweets ingredient. They won't be missed, trust me. I'm I'll not see doing what I this. can do, Gareth. Fair enough. You shall be the first one to taste my newest brew if you can be of help. Well, Perhaps I'll I can pass. convince some meat to help me with my potions homework. Get my aunt to loosen her reins a bit. I can understand why she don't trust you. I'll need to get those dried billy wig stings for Gareth if he's to finish his latest concoction. I don't know where that key went. I'm pretty well, sure that was a key. witch statue shouldn't be too hard to find. Let me <laughs> A lot of goodies here. There was Rebellion. something else that was blue. Is it this? The Hogwarts coat of arms include a lion, snake, eagle, and badger, representing each of the four houses, along with the school motto Draco Dormians. I'm not going to read that, which means never tickle a sleeping dragon. Huh. Cool. Oh, I did find him. All right, come on. Gotcha. Another one. Yay, another token. She's not going to say anything about that. What does this go to? I'm totally straying off. Should I... Should I check this out? Hmm. I just want to see if there's any, um... Rebellion. Any gobstone? Oh, is he eating that candy? I don't see any gobstone, and she didn't see anything, so... If only... Huh? Alright, let's just go back. Right, let's, let's go back and meet Mr. Moon. there. Oh, there you are. What's in that door? Oh, this is that thing. Okay, well, let me listen to him first. Hello again, Mr. Moon. Oh, I was hoping to see you again, my young friend. Uh, Gladwin so Moon, Hogwarts caretaker, at your service. First, uh, please allow me to apologize if I seemed a bit uh, unsteady when we last met. I'm afraid I had a rather disconcerting encounter. 
Although I hear your visit to Hogsmeade was even more eventful than mine. Oh, talking like you're I suppose you could call it eventful. I certainly wasn't expecting a troll attack. Oh, of course not. Uh, and from what I understand, the village was lucky you were there. In fact, my recent visit to Hogsmeade is the reason I was hoping to bump into you. Like a I could use scammer. your help or something. Do you see that curious statue over there? Watch what yeah, happens when bookies. that light changes from day to night. Oh, that's so. Uh, I knew there was something special with those. Uh. Now, if you wouldn't mind humoring me for a moment, see if you can remove the moon from the statue. Odd little contraptions, aren't they? It seems the statue vanishes once the moon is removed. Which, incidentally, can only be done at night. Uh, why don't you hold on to that one for now, and I'll explain more as we walk. Uh, ever since that fateful day in the village, those curious statues have begun appearing about the castle. Yeah. A fair number have been strewn around Hogsmeade. Someone, it seems, is trying to torment me. You see, Why? that day in Hogsmeade, I turned a corner and came face to face with a boggart, or, or shapeshifter, if you will, uh, which takes the form of whatever scares you most. This one took the form of a demiguys. A demiguys? He just went through the door, <gasps> my friend. Yes, terrifying creature that can see the future. Wholly unnerving. I encountered one when I was a lad in Korea. Terrible experience. Uh, those statues are demigoises. The moons, I assume, are an uninspired play on my name. Some jackanapes used a boggart to learn my greatest fear and use it against me. I have my suspicion as to the scoundrel or scoundrels responsible. Okay. It is my hope that they will slip up and reveal themselves as the statues So you disappear. don't really know who they are. That is why I need your help in removing the statues. Okay. Why me? A couple of reasons, frankly. Uh, first, your daring do against those trolls in Oxmead has gained you a reputation for fearlessness. Second, as macabre and hideous as a demiguise is, most would find my fear of them unwarranted. You, however, have seen how they affect me. I'm at my wit's end, young friend. I, I simply can't bring myself to go near them. <laughs> In fact, I know of two statues right here in the faculty tower. Perhaps you, you could start simply caretaker? by removing them so uh, I can go about my evening duties. <sighs> I don't want to get in trouble. What's in it for me? I'd be happy to help. He's a caretaker and maybe he'll be useful later. I'd be glad to help you, Mr. Moon. Oh, I knew I could count on you. Uh, first, you know how to cast a disillusionment charm, correct? Mm. You'll want to do that before wandering the tower at night. Uh, next, you'll notice that the door is locked. However will you get in? Mm. Alahamora, that's how. But what about curfew? Curfew? Oh. oh, tosh! I sense you're a bit like me when I was your age. Oh, the school was my oyster. <laughs> and I took advantage of it. Oh, everyone loved me for it. <laughs> oh, those were the days. Uh, now, you'll find one statue in the prefect's bathroom and the other in the hospital wing. Good luck. Oh, okay. and thank you. Yeah, this is the one I wanted. Fine. All right, so that's gonna go. Maybe I don't need. All right, well. Hello, Mora. Oh God, it she just automatically does it. Oh, well done, you're in. Remember, use a disillusionment charm so no one claps eyes on you. This is I a it, restricted area of the castle, after all. Avelio. So do I have to do that every time? 
Alohomora. That's kind of annoying. You gotta do that every single time. Oh my gosh. Dear Maribel, my dear dot has been asking after you. Perhaps I can convince her to stop in for a butterbeer or two if you were to join us. It's been far too long. What do you do? Who is this too? Maribel from Sorona. Okay. This room's some crappy gloves. Uh oh. Peeps can't see me, right? I hear him nearby. Whose bedroom is this? These darn statues. I heard peeves. Oh gosh. Is this from? Yeah, you guys can go ahead and read that. <laughs> okay. A lot of letters in here. Oh, level two lock. Ugh. Oh, it's just not in here. You gotta be careful. Peeves usually likes. Casting Revelio reviews authority figures. Okay. I yeah, knew that, but there's one right there. Uh, yeah, I here. Uh -huh. Okay. Ooh, ghost. Ghosts are bad too, right? Where do I need to go? Upstairs? Can't I? That's not what I wanted to do. No, 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 no! I didn't expect the hitbox, the stair to be higher. Gosh darn it. Avelia. Go over there. How high do I have to go to get this guy? Any more? Is that it right there? Uh, how are your students getting on this year? Rather poorly, I'd say. Is that so? Uh, we're uh -oh. raising a generation of coddled cape flappers that can scarcely tell the difference between Arcanite and Asphodel. Yes, well, it's still early. They just gonna camp out there? They can just go. Why were they blue and not red? Whoa! The people 
going higher? Oh, it's right there. Pavilion. Where is it? This must be the prefect's bathroom. Oh no. Just chit chatting there. I do this Hello. without being caught. Over there. Pavilion. Oh, only one of them went. How am I supposed to get over there? Oh. Close. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Is she gonna come back this way? Okay. This is nerve wracking. Yes. Why are they just all grouped up there, man? The majestic unicorn fountain gives an air of serenity and calm to the hospitable hospital wing. Yeah, there's another one, wasn't there? I see it. Hmm. I think the only three? Is that fake? A garlic? Oh, it's heck it, not fig. Where'd this one go? And Ravenclaw would not have been that. Shit. Not this year, anyway. I'm partial to Hufflepuff myself. What was that? What was what? Nothing. Oh my god. How do I get back? <laughs> oh, 
Mazelia. Saw nothing. Turn around. They expect me to go all the way back? Oh no. Yeah, keep facing. Keep facing that way. Come on, man, they're not buying it. Oh god. Oh shit. These damn hitboxes. Okay, let me just get out of here. Please. Oh shit. Nope. I'll just follow the professor. Professor Hecate, don't mind the footsteps you hear right behind you. They're nothing. The XP for this better be huge. Oh, I see something right there. Let me get this real quick. Azalea. assume this to be the shell of a fire crab native to Fiji. However, those in the know swear it's a bejeweled tortoise shell created by a mad wizard near Versailles. When his chateau was overrun by Nifflers, the dazzling shell was carried off to be discovered years later by a Hogwarts professor on holiday in the Ardennes. Ardennes. That definitely looks like a tortoise shell. Ooh. I did not see anything. Oh, I'm afraid I oh shit! You out. I did not see garlic. Alright, so garlic shouldn't be giving me trouble this time, right? Can turn around. I don't like the hitboxes on this thing. Avelia. It doesn't allow you to move from being crouched. Okay, finally. This is not the right way, but... What? Why is he coming this way? Here you go. What is that? Oh. How the fuck did he come over here? How am I doing this now? It's worth it, right? Alright. The statue of a lost 
looking wizard known as Boris the Bewildered has perplexed students for ages. He is coming or going. Is he at the beginning of a journey or at the end? That's kind of dumb. Please let me be done with this. Am I almost there? What's this? Oh, level three. Uh, which way are you facing? Going back up there. Nope, we're just gonna go. So good. I thought ghosts could see you too, so I'm just gonna. Where is he? Oh. Hello, Mr. Moon. I have the moons you asked me to collect. Oh, They're goodness! A lot of You're as fearless as I hoped! An excellent start! If we can collect more, it may shed some light on who's behind all this. Of course, I first suspected Peeves. He drove the previous caretaker, rancorous cop, to an early retirement with his intolerable buffoonery. But that does not explain the bogger in Oxme, does it? No. I am determined, with your help, to discover the identity of my tormentor. I have time, but I make no promise. I'll see what I can do, but I'm fairly busy. I can't promise anything. Uh, understood. Uh, but I hope you will find the time. In case it matters, I do have something the to price offer in right. exchange for your assistance. Now, remember, the moons are only retrievable at night. Thus, I encourage you to use a disillusionment when necessary. How many statues are there? How many statues are there to find? I don't know precisely, but I've spotted dozens. Seems they're everywhere I look. You have your work Great. cut out for you, if you were to ever unravel their meaning. Hmm. You mentioned offering something in exchange for my assistance. I did. Uh, once you've brought me enough moons, I'll show you even more powerful forms of Alahamora. Hmm. Not every lock is as easy to pick as the faculty towers. Understood. Right. I shall keep an eye out. That's I incentive. appreciate that. Gosh. Oh, I, I knew you were the one to ask for help. Uh, keep at it so we can solve this mystery. Uh-huh. I think I saw one in... Was it Professor Fig? Or was it Hecate? Now that he's... Hello, um. friend. I wonder if you might stop by the three broomsticks when you can. I would like your help with something. Okay. As I mentioned, my sister Anne misses Hogwarts, and she hasn't been herself lately. I'd like to take you up on your promise to visit her with me. I'm heading to Feldcroft soon, so I'll look forward to seeing you there. It's just south of Hogwarts. By the way, hope you're faring well with the blasting curse. It's still one of my favorites. Now that you've attended Beast's class, I've asked Deke to assist you in using the room to further your studies in that regard. Please meet him there when you can. I've not yeah. heard from my Uncle Roland in quite some time. I've been beside myself with worry. Who's Could this? Could you meet me in the courtyard? I don't even know who that is. 
So now that we're done with Moon, can we just go here? It's unrestricted now, right? Bevelio. So we can freely... Oh, I found you, little bugger. Gotcha. Alright, we're doing good with these keys. Now... Uh, we can kind of explore the things that we left behind. There was, uh... It is follow- oh my wait, did his head move? That's creepy. Okay, um... Revenia. These are both higher level, right? No, I can do this one. Alohomora. I don't know if I'm a fan of this. is creepy. Oh. What is this room? Abraham. Where are the children taking playing gobstones in the streets? This is like a child's room. It is a child's room. That's it? Pavelio. Okay, those are kind of creepy. Okay, uh... Was there anything else upstairs that we left? Oh yeah, I couldn't read something in the fountain or bathroom. Can't get that yet. What was the bathroom? Was it here? Wait. Yeah, I think this is the... Oh wait, let me do this real quick. Okay. Yes, we couldn't do this earlier. Revenia. The prefix bathroom features a swimming pool sized bathtub that be filled with enchanted soap and colorful bubbles, as well as a beautiful painted mural depicting a mermaid. Okay, let's see what Sorona needs. Since she helped us stop women. Yeah. She helped us out twice. Glad you came. How'd you know it was me? You didn't even look up. Hello, Serona. I received your owl. How are you? Hello, my friend. Did you ever find Lord Gog? Uh, we're actually working together. I did, thank you. In fact, we're working together to try and rein in Ranrock. Are you? Hmm. I suspected you and he would get along. Hmm. Perhaps best I don't know details I still of your don't trust plans. Him, though. And I shall refrain from telling you to be careful yet again. But I hope you will be. I... of course. Your owl mentioned you're needing my help with something. I do. I thought you might be just the person to do a favor for my friend Dorothy Sprottle in Upper Hogsfield. I've actually met Mrs. Sprottle. Mm -hmm. I recently spoke with her about her friend, Claire Beaumont. She's lovely. Her late husband, Aidan, was a friend of my father's. In fact, I'd stay with Dot and Aidan the summers I waited tables here as a student. I've seen her a few times since Aidan passed, but the pub's been so busy lately, I've not been as attentive as I'd have liked. 
I wonder if you might pop in and see her. She may need some help collecting ingredients for her supply of Wigan World potion. And you could retrieve something of mine in the process. A box, um, full of old letters and such. <laughs> Why does my character look so disinterested? <laughs> Why does Miss Frotto have a wig mail supply? Why did you leave your box of... Why would we ask her that? Why does Mrs. Sprattle keep a supply of Wigan Wheel potion on hand? Dot's a skilled potioneer. She's been supplying traveling vendors with Wigan Well potion. An ordinary precaution that has, unfortunately, become a necessity. What with Ranrock's loyalists disrupting the trade mm -hmm. routes. That's true. Why did Mr. and Mrs. Sprottle have your box of letters after all this time? It's one of a few that I had when I was young. Dot found it when she was clearing out a closet. Can't imagine what's in there. Probably terribly theatrical. The ramblings of a teenage witch and her friends. You're welcome to take a peek inside, if you do find it. To be honest, I'd imagine it contains some lovely memories. Okay, well, you... <laughs> you asked for it. I could try and stop by. I'll try to go and see her when I can. It would mean the world to me, and to Dorothy. Aiden was bringing the box of letters to me when he was taken ill. Dot mm -hmm. can tell you where he might have dropped it. It's probably behind we'll one of the locked doors. We'll find a hamlet just north of Hogsmeade. Please do give Dot my love. Will do. And there's also another side mission close by. Let's go check that one out. Oof. Oof. You'll see it was a mistake parting ways with me. Who are you? Sir, is everything all right? How kind of you to ask. The name's Ackley Barnes. And no, it is not. I'm plotting a sort of revenge against my ex-business partner, a conniving fiend by the name of Alfred Lawley. He cut me out of our herbology supply business just as we were getting started. <laughs> Said I was too volatile to work with. I'll show him volatile. I can see why. <laughs> no. That must have been frustrating for you. Yes, yes it was. Terribly. Mm -hmm. I'm simply passionate about my work. Supercilious fool. He's passionate about things too. As I intend to remind him by relieving him of his prized possession. A venomous tentacular he's grown from a seedling oh, that was one. to be the keystone of our business venture. I can't get anywhere near it with Ruth Singer watching me like an augury. Lawley's doing, no doubt. But no one would suspect a student. Hmm. How would you feel about committing some grand plant larceny? Uh, see if I'm comfortable with this. What was your business with Alfred Lawley? Why this? I Why need do you one, need actually, Mr. Lawley's venomous tentacular garlic. in particular? Simple. If I have it, then Lawley doesn't. Uh. Ergo, I can launch my business, and he must start all over again. I'm killing two snidgets with one stone. Whose idea of the business was it, though? I mean, if it wasn't your original idea and you're stealing it, that's not okay. What else is in the cellar? What else is in Mr. Lawley's cellar? All of Lawley's herbology supplies. He has quite the collection. Fill your pockets while you're there. Or to slow him down for a bit. And I can get my business going minus any competition. You said Mr. Lawley was your ex-business partner. What were you working on? I had an idea to train Venomous Tentacular. Create guard plants, if you will, that attacked when ordered. We hit a snag mm. when one ate Lawley's kneesel. After that, he Ooh. cut me out of the business, the short-sighted fiend. Oh, I can kind of understand, then. Uh... I'll get the venomous tentacular for you. Marvelous. I know a fellow seeker of justice when I see one. Take as many herbology supplies as you like while you're in his cellar. All I ask is that you bring me the venomous tentacular. Oh, that Remember, works out. I just need that venomous tentacular. I actually need that for one of my 
side missions for Seems Professor Garlic. I need to Garlic. find Mr. Lawley's cellar. Yeah. But I'm going to end this episode here. And I don't know, I may or may not include these side stories in the next video. We'll see. I usually try to stay with the main story, but I don't know. We'll see. If it seems like it's going to be entertaining, then I will go to... Uh, but if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe. And until next time, guys.